Wilson looking, looking, stepping up. Gonna get hit, gonna go down. Sack back at the 50-yard line. Romeo Okwara got him. Hey, welcome back, 95. <laughs> it is great to see you. Last Sunday against the Jets, second quarter, second and 20, you escape underneath a tackle for your first sack. And get this, 449 days. Why was it so big for you to get that sack under your belt? Man, that's a lot of days. Um, I think it was just really important for the team uh, at that point in the game. Um, I think it was right. It was during two minutes, right before the half, and I knew we had to go make a play on defense, um, keep them out of the end zone before um, before the half. So I was glad I was able to come up with the play there. The celebration after the sack is you taking photos. You're a big photography guy, right? Yeah, yeah. I like taking photos, so I toss. I, I thought I'd throw a little some in there. It's been a long journey for you to get back onto the football field. October 3rd, 2021, you tore your Achilles. What do you remember most about that moment? Uh, it was pretty devastating at the moment. Uh, obviously going through my first major injury in surgery. Um, and it's kind of been a long, long road, long journey. Uh, lots of ups and downs, but I'm just glad to be where I'm at in this process. What did people tell you about rehabbing an Achilles injury when you first tore it? Yeah, I mean, obviously I was going through it the same time as Jeff and like we kind of uh, kind of uh, uh, stayed by each other and kind of kept each other accountable and uh, throughout the whole process and he helped me out a lot. Um, obviously he was like three weeks ahead of me. Um, so it was, it was great having him doing that, uh, during that whole process. Mm -hmm. Not playing football for over a year, what was the most difficult part of that rehab journey? Yeah, just really just being away from the team and just kind of watching from home, like not being able to travel to games and be around the team. Uh, that was probably the toughest part. Um, but just glad to be able to be back uh, where I'm at right now, just back in the locker room with the guys. How much did little brother Julian help bridge that gap between you and the team? A lot, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, just having him at home um, definitely helped a lot through that process. And uh, being able to come back to work is uh, definitely great. For you mentally, where did you grow the most after that, that surgery and rehab? Yeah, I think it just kind of taught me a lot about myself. Um, I, I, I definitely wanted that comeback and uh, just kind of prove it to myself, really, and just to be there for my teammates. And um, yeah, I think it was awesome. The comeback came at a great time. Around Christmas time, you were able to go with uh, some kids to Meyer for Shop with a Lion. What was that experience like for you, just getting to see the look on their faces when they got to pick out some gifts? Yeah, that was awesome. Just just getting to spend time with those kids. Uh, they were so happy uh, just out there trying to shop and not only buy things for themselves, but the family members, their moms, dads. Uh, siblings, uh, so it was a really awesome, awesome uh, experience. You'll be facing the Carolina Panthers on Christmas Eve, so you'll be home for Christmas Day. With that said, what is the best gift you've ever been given, and then we'll do what you've ever gifted? Um, I would say probably a couple years ago, me and my family were usually all over the place during Christmas okay. because, I don't know, one of us is at school here or playing a game here, um, but we were able to spend Christmas uh, all together in Detroit, which is uh, probably the best present I've ever received. And then given. Given. Ooh, I got my brother a watch uh, a couple years ago that I, I almost kept for myself. Oh. <laughs> was it a nice Rolex? What was it? It was a Cartier. Looking for win number eight against Carolina Panthers at their place Christmas Eve. They're five and nine right now. What does this team need to do to keep the success going there out on the field? We really have to just keep improving, uh, stay the course, uh, trust ourselves. Uh, I don't think we have to do anything drastically too different. Um, just keep improving and kind of keep uh, attacking practice with the same mindset these past couple of weeks.